Ayo, three for the chef that whip the pack like tornadoes. You are now getting sauce with a boss like tomatoes. Foes get the nose of my guns with potatoes. All for the fettuccine mixed with Alfredo. You will never catch me hanging around squares like an ego. And you don't want this side of me to come outside. Put holes in your outfit, exposing your outfit. Probably with Bo and Rambo, fitted in the flannel, few feet deep. Circling your streets like a manhole I'm trying to gain property Play the game properly Cause you can roll a dice and land in jail like Monopoly Friends become enemies They chasing that dream too Coming at you sideways You know how that lean do This is not a movie This is just a preview And God we trust money is the root of all evil Finally, after all of these years of running the streets, playing the game, yep, you gotta put yourself in a position to be laid up in the shade somewhere. Paid to the max, you know what I'm saying? Sitting comfortably, away from all the chaos, stress free. Leave that past in the past, only look forward to the new beginnings. Man, this was the only way I could see it. Poof. Out of there, disappear away from this all. Yeah, just pack it up. Me, my sister, my nephew. Yeah, I just get up, fold my hand, collect my chips and leave the table. Yeah, and of course my girl. You know, that's gonna be a headache too, huh? My sister, they stay at it. But yeah, it's nice. It'd be great to bring the boys along too. Let them enjoy a little piece of this heaven. But as you know, everybody ain't gonna make it to heaven. In fact, I ask myself this all the time. Which side am I really on? After all of this. The drug dealing, supplying death to the streets 24-7. The robberies, the double crosses, the setups. They got big money flosses on their stomach, swimming on the pavement. Begging for their lives in exchange for wads of cash and pounds of jewelry that the wolves ripped from their body. The killing, the instinctive emotion to cause a man to play the role of judge, jury, and executioner and determine the fate of a man's existence to be non-existent. I once was told I brought turmoil to my city. My sister, my nephew, the leading lady in my life, the closest friends, which I consider family, the connection that allowed us an endless supply or whatever we needed to fill the veins of the city with poison that placed me in this hustler's paradise. <laughs> the evilest man I know once told me, we on the same side, Smack. <laughs> After all the planning, all the grinding, all the wanting better, man, it's never how you want it. Hey, yo, smack man, you got a visitor. I told them I was waiting for you, so it's great that you're here right on time. 
Oh, that's good. Things are going in the right direction. Things are going awesome. Okay, well, I won't take up too much of your time this afternoon. I'm basically just going to check around and okay. make sure everything is uh, looking sound and proper. Okay, that's fine. Where do you want to start? Uh, we can start in the front room here. Okay. Okay, Mr. Jones, this is Jafar's room. I got his bed. I'm still working on a couple of other things, but you know, things are coming along. Okay, uh, so that looks uh, good. I understand you have a two bedrooms and it will just be you and Jafar, correct? Yes, correct, me and Jafar. Okay, um, now, um, looks a little scarce in terms of furniture. I understand you just moving in. Yes. Um, but I tell you what, uh, according to my notes here, you've been attending the program classes for abused uh, women's support at the YCMA. You yes. haven't missed a session yet? Not at all. Uh, so what we can do, you have one class to remain this Thursday. If you complete that, once they sign off, I can get you approved for the furniture voucher program. Oh, that's perfect. I can use that, definitely. Okay. Um, so like I said, we're not going to take up too much of your time. I think I've seen everything I need to. And with that, um, I will call Dyfus and Jafar should be home by this week. Oh my God, thank you so much, Mr. Jones. You don't know how much that oh, means. Hey, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Right, no thank problem. you very much. I thank you. You're excited? Uh, yes, I'm so excited. No problem. Um, so I'll update the folder once I get back to the office. And like I said, as soon as they sign off that you've been there tonight like to finish up your classes, yes. we'll get those vouchers right over to you. Thank you, God. Oh, my God. You don't know how much this means to me, Mr. Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you again. No problem. Yo, man, listen, man. Yo, yo, Jafar. Listen, man, you still fight. Stop. Stop. I'm it's telling you. No. It's not no, listen, me. No, no, listen. Listen. No, it's you. It's you. They just try to jump it's me, though. You. They just try to jump me. Bro, nah, no, I'm about to listen, go listen, listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. You got to be held for your own responsibilities. You understand? It's always somebody else. It's never you. It is them. I've been here 26 years working this job, and it's always the same ones. The great kids always blame things on other people. Yo, you gotta stop this, man. Don't you wanna go home? Yeah, I wanna go home. But well, how you gonna get home doing the same thing, blaming some of everybody else? If somebody hit me, I'm gonna hit them back. Come Simple. On, man. Right. But it's not like that. We gotta use our mind. We going forward. Here it is. Check it out. We play a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. You beat me, you beat me, I buy you anything you want. That's easy. Let's do it. Shit. But you know when you lose, you gonna clean this whole facility up. You think so? Let's, well, let's go. But that was a good try, man. You know, what score was that? Nine one, something like that. What was a good try? Nah. Hey, man, that's what it's about. Man. I teach you. Something. You know, out of all the things you did since you've been here, it's been some good. Things. Some bad. Things, man. So one thing that we gotta always stay focused, keep our eyes on the prize, man. There's a lot of things out here that can distract us, man. And I want to let you know that you, you know, you progressed a long way. You know, we come to this point because I got some great news for you, man. You're going home. You should be excited, man. You're going home, man. You scared? No. It's your time to go up there and show them that, you know, Jafar is back, man. Jafar is going to go real far in life, man. You're not going to be like the rest of these guys. We had opportunities, man. Turn you down. You know what I'm saying? We're making excuses. 
Or for somebody in the hospital right now, man. Don't they worry about, you know, these people making free with them. You got an opportunity to be successful, which you are going to be successful, man. All right? Yeah. They'll be here pretty soon, man. I'll go pack your stuff, man. All right. I wish you the best of luck, man. I love you. Right. And when you come back, man, we can play again. All right. Same I, results. All right. I appreciate everything you did for me. All right, bro. All right. Talk to you. Okay. Hey, yo, man. Got that letter for the judge you told me to write. That's good. But you know what? You're not even going to need this. Got some great news for you. Man, what kind of great news you got for me, man? You're a free man. They threw your case out. Come on, Sharp. I ain't got time for the game today. I'm not playing with you. By the end of the week, the paperwork will be processed. You'll be out of here. Oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. Yo, you playing I'm not playing. Yo, Sharp! What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, man? Well, they had a few technicalities that just wouldn't hold up in court. You see, the warrant wasn't issued until two days after the incident. Now, this raid, which they had no just cause for, caused you and your family emotional damage. Damn right. And my favorite part, the arresting officer, he's under investigation from internal affairs right now. It's a long history of inappropriate conduct. Leo, dirty ass man. I've been telling these people that. Yeah. So I threatened to sue him for $50 million. After one talk with the judge in his chambers, <laughs> who just happens to be one of my golf buddies, the rest is history. Damn, Sharp, you the man. I'm glad I could help. Hey, yo. You the man. Nah, man, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be different. You ain't got to worry about nothing, man, at all. I'm going to go home, man. I'm going to stay with my sister. I ain't playing around with these streets. It's over with. That's good to hear. I'm going to need you to stay clean when you get out. This guy, Leo, plays for Keith. I'm sure he's going to be all over you when you get out. Nah, man, we ain't got to worry about that, man. I'm going to be way far gone on a whole other lane, man. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. He's like a new man already. Shot. My man, you know they calling me, man. Trades up, man. Lunch, yeah. belong, whatever. Go make this sandwich, man. Talk trash. Thanks, Shot, man. I Keep appreciate my number. it. Come on, man. I don't need that, but I'll check on you. Come whoop you on that court or something. All right. All right Thanks, Shot. Pleasure was all mine. Thank you. Thank you, God. Hello? Yes, this is Stacy Strong. Okay. So you have information on the homicide? Uh, would you like to meet someone? Okay. Okay, it was a woman. Blonde hair? About five nine. And you're sure about this? Okay. Thanks for the information. Back door. What happened, man? Yeah, don't bring no problems here. Yo, where you going? Do some work, man. Yeah, you some work. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you alright, bro? You work here? Work here. I look like I work here, man. Oh, 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 bro. Police. Why don't you get up, man? Let me talk to you. Man, I ain't even doing nothing. I just. I ain't asking you what you're doing, nothing. Get up, let me talk to you. Man. <laughs> man. Work here? Nah, oh, man. I just came to get a um, motherfucker soda. You work here? I don't work here, man. I just came to get a dollar motherfucking worth of cheese. I uh, need to talk to you. What's up? Man, I ain't even do nothing, man. You just seen me in the store. Like, I ain't do nothing. Sweating. 
Listen, man. I got something that'll help you out. Come on outside with me. Man. All right. Unless you're worried. Nah, I ain't worried. You worried? I ain't worried. What's up with you, man? Yeah. I'm good. What's up What's with you? What's your name, man? What's your name? Omar. Omar, I'm Leo, all right? You heard of me? Yeah, I heard of you. You heard of me, right? So, Omar, if you heard of me, you know that everything that happens out here, I got something to do with it, right? Do you? Yeah. I'm going to keep this real simple for you, Omar. Who you out here trapping for? Trapping for? Yeah, who you who you out here hustling for? Trapping for nobody, bro. It's me. Trapping Smack man me. know about that? Streets know about that? See, because Omar, those guys are wolves, right? And you looking like a sheep. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a sheep out here amongst these wolves, Omar. But you're going to need a shepherd. I'm your shepherd. I'm here for you, Omar, to protect you from the wolves. I don't need no shepherd, bro. You don't need no shepherd, Omar. When I met you, you was in there hiding behind dairy products. Huh? And you don't need no shepherd? Omar, college educated man, right? You look like you went to college, maybe freshman year, right? I, went, I graduated. You graduated. Okay, so what was math 101, Omar? Huh? Huh? Five stacks a month will keep Leo off your ass. That's math 101, right? I'm gonna need five stacks a month from you, Omar. Five stacks? Five stacks a month. What I'm gonna give you five stacks for? Omar, it's just like life insurance, right? You know how life insurance works. You pay for the just in case, right? So just in case somebody wanna come down here and whoop your ass, I'm your protection. Five stacks a month, it's a real light hit. Yo, man, I ain't got no five stacks to be just giving up. Just cause the motherfucker asked me for five stacks. Who's the motherfucker? Omar, you got bills? Huh? Yeah, I got bills. Okay. You can call me Bill if that makes you feel better. Because now you have to pay me five stacks a month if you're going to be out here on this block. You understand? I ain't got no five stacks, Leo. All right. Omar, you can give me the five stacks a month or you can be on a t-shirt next week. Right? And everybody will be doing a march about you saying Black Lives Matter. Right? Is that what you want? Five stacks. Five stacks a month. Alright. I can work that out. Yeah. I thought you would. College has been good to you, right? Alright. Let's start it off today. Today? Today. Reach in them pockets. Give me five stacks right now. I don't got five stacks just sitting in my pocket like that, Leo. Like, I just... I've been watching you all day. My partner got Gucci Girl over there right now. Right? I know what you got. Come on, Omar. You're smarter than that. You said you graduate. Right? Come on. Put that degree to work. Dig in them pockets and do what's going to save your life. Give me that five stacks. All right, man. All right. You ain't got to count it, Omar. Come on, man. That's not even five stacks, bro. That's like $6,700. Okay. All right. So you're halfway in there for the for the next month. All right? You're supposed to be 5 old. You out here extorting niggas on some bullshit. Like, I'm not extorting. On, I am protecting you because I care for you. All right? All Listen, right, man. What up? I'm out here for you, man. Ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Get money. I see you same time next next month. All right? I'm out. Forgot one more here. That's for you. you. See, your money's already working for you. Yo, what, what made you do that? Everybody need a friend, Omar. I'm your friend. All right? Let's get it, man.
Nope. How come every time I ask you if you need my help, you give me an attitude? Listen, listen. All week, almost over two weeks, I'll be on this stuff cooking. Because you choose to. I, I choose ask you if you want me to help. I choose to. The way you, your attitude, your face look like a peat bowl, smell of shit. All the time you all mad every day. You waking up and doing a goddamn thing. Now you want to help me? After a week and a half, I'm cooking now. All right, all right. I don't want to argue. Why well, you want to be nice? There must be something in the water. Now you want to be nice? I want to help pay me. You ain't pay me no money all week. Now you want to help me? You tripping. Come on, man. Come on now. Get ahead with that. Well, I want to talk to you about my brother. What about your brother? Ho, ho, ho. And what about your brother? Speak. He's getting out of jail. And you know when people get out of prison, they need a place to be paroled, like, you know, officers. I don't know a lot about it. I just know that he needs some place to stay and he needs to stay here. I'm the only person that he has. Ho 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 ho. Stay where? Here in the house. Okay. I don't think so. Hey, I'm good. Anything hot? Yeah, I've been calling you all day, and you just been sending me the voicemail. I, I mean, just, I haven't sent you the voicemail. If if, it, if I can't get to the phone, I can't get to the phone. Yeah, but what if it's an emergency? <clears throat> What's the emergency? What if it were an emergency? Exactly. Listen, babe. You know, I'm an officer. All right. It's a lot going on at the job right now, and I had a very long day. Now, I can't always get to the phone. You know, that's just, that's part of the job. And babe, I'm understanding of that. Okay. And if you ever want to talk about anything, I'm always here. You know, I always ask you if you want to communicate with me. No, I, I just need some time. Just need some space, babe. That's it. And you know what? No problem. Babe, I made you some dinner. Mm -hmm. Send a microwave, knock yourself out. Right. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I've been up for two hours waiting for you to have dinner with you. Right. It's cool. Oh, by the way, I just want to ask you a question. Somebody's been calling here, playing on the phone, and hanging up. I mean, have you witnessed this? Girl, I know. Shut up, please. He don't do shit for me and mine. Yeah. Dirty ass cop. Everybody know. Everybody. Please. Yeah. But you love the nigga. But you keep knocking on my fucking door. Whatever the fuck you want a booty for. If you were here, why are you asking me? I mean, I wasn't here, babe. So if you were here, why are you asking me? We both live here. So at night, when you're coming home late, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, have you heard somebody playing on the phone? No. No, I haven't. I also, I got another issue about or about. Supposedly, you got a child with some chick across town. Bitches in the beauty parlor have been talking about it all week, and I'm looking like the fucking fool over here. You mean to tell me you gonna listen to some hoes at the beauty shop? Hoes? Huh? Come on now. Does that make sense? All they do is gossip about everybody anyway. Come on now. Really, a bitch across town? I got a baby by? Listen, listen. I want you to tell me what makes sense. Listen, I'm just trying to figure out what the truth is. I just, told you, to I just told you the truth. I just told you the truth. Listen, there's no argument here, babe. Okay. There's no argument here. I just want to know what happened between me and you. We used to be cool. We used to be best fucking friends, hanging out all the time. And then you just turned into this horrible ass fucking person. <laughs> and you know what? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Listen, it's not your fault. It's my fault. You know why? Because I chose you. And you know what? When I find me a real man who knows how to deal with his problems without fucking drinking. <laughs> now look what the fuck you made me do. Huh? You want to listen to these ratchet bitches at your house? Huh? And I'm working fucking hard all day. Huh? Man, I told you. 
Don't you ever do this to me like that in your fucking life. You hear me? <laughs> Last time? Yeah, I remember. Alright, listen. I need to be respecting this house. And I'm not gonna tell you again. And this is gonna be a problem. You understand that? I understand. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have us a nice dinner. We're not gonna talk about what's going on across town. We're not gonna talk about what's happening at your beauty park. <laughs> You hear me? Yeah. Now what's for dinner? Chicken. Okay, babe. Let's go. Get up. Stop carrying on. Hey, Valor. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Can't complain. How's Jafar? Jafar's good. Why are you coming in the shades? I had an accident. Take them shades off so I can see your accident. Yo, we still. Yeah, at work. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give you this right now. Thank you. I gotta go. All right. Well, I'll see you next month. Let's not have no more accidents, you understand me? Girl, I'm about to sign in and sign out, okay? Let me call you back. Okay. Hello. Hello. Mrs. Lee? No, but my assumption was that this was an individual session. Okay, um, I was under the same impression, but obviously it's not. I mean, you're welcome to sit down and wait, but when Ms. Lee comes, I would really like to keep this one-to-one. -one. I respect so, that. Thank you. I thought I was crazy earlier sitting here <laughs> picking up all these petals. I did. But I just know I walked in and saw a table full of roses. <laughs> But trust me, it just it just lets off some steam. You know, it's like you're you're, you're separating your love, right? For this this piece of shit. This is something that I would definitely <laughs> make fun of, but it's working. You know, I was just sitting here thinking about the time that I showed up at his house and flattened all his tires, bust out the back window, <laughs> and stuck a screwdriver in the trunk. I don't know why I did that, but stuck the screwdriver wow. in the trunk, so I guess so he couldn't get in. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. I've never done that, but I had run him over before with my Oh car. my god. <laughs> I mean I didn't he didn't get hurt that bad. And then I, you know, one point you in time. Ran him I, over. I ran his ass over. <laughs> when you when you trust me, when you have that rage, girl, you you you're liable to do anything. Oh my goodness. And there's been a time before where I broke all the keys off in the locks so he couldn't get the locks in the house? Yes. So he that was homeless for a short period of time? <laughs> so stay with whoever you've been running around with, asking the fuck up with. I've never done anything that crazy. I mean, I do call numbers and stuff like that, if that mm -hmm. counts. I'm not as bold, mm -hmm. 
But, you know, I'll call a number back here and there. Or... Well, the bus in the windows, are, that's kind of bold. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of bold. Uh, I saw it on TV, so I figured <laughs> it worked for them. And, you know, I thought about doing one of those Medea moves on him with the high grits. <laughs> No, but I read that if you do that, like, you can really burn somebody. I don't know how many degree, what degree burn, but you can, I don't want to have any parts. I don't want to do that. Listen, when you're mad, you're liable to do anything. So it's just like, oh, that was, you know, kind of fun getting that out for a little bit. I mean, I got all kind of tricks to the trade. I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you everything. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to have to ask you for some tips, but I'm hopefully I won't have everything. to use them. And that's the point about trying to move on. I think that, you know, if we could just move on and just find the right guy, then we wouldn't be having to go through this stuff. Right. We're talking about tricks in the game. I'm done with trying to find the right guy. I just want to focus on my son, building a future for him and I, and that's it, really. Because I can't go through this. I'm sitting here over a man. Me, you and me both. I just wanna, I gotta, you know, I gotta get myself back. Cause how I used to be, trust me, he wouldn't have stood a damn chance with me. I just, just like when you start dating somebody, you letting them consume your life, you just start getting so comfortable with it, you know? And I'm right. like, I'm over it. But at the same time, I love him. I do love him, we have a history together. I really love this guy, but I don't know. Okay. I suffer from a high mental identity issue I defy the odds when the ends do Fame and fortunes in a clear view Cheers to me leaving the street life in the rear view Showing you what rapping is, words whoop rapping it I'll give it a shot, but I'll probably sell crack again Pro-black, every diamond on me African A long way from them hallways trafficking Grams is up, 50 something, where the profit at? I probably have to pop a hat if I drop a pack I've been trying to try to show you that I'm working, baby I'm trying to reach the stars, the stars, oh my God And I've been telling you for years that I'm a hustler, baby Trading me no spots for these bars, oh no Game over for a lot of cats I see you whipping up the work, but you can't bring that product back Find me at the table where all of the gold bottles at Counting new money on my old dollar stacks Now I remember when I used to be angrier Now it's all smiles cause the lifestyle's dangerous Crazy like angel dust, hang with us Either you pour on or push up dandelions if you bang with us Plus I got a short fuse Dealing with the issues that a boss do As I kick it in this business like horseshoes I read the cross you then off you It's gonna cost you another honor Get me off you, I'm really awful You should be thoughtful, I leave you thoughtless I'm living heartless, I'll put your corpse in the coffin You only talk it, I'm really off it you saw Puss, and I'm a hard dick and a hog spit and I've been trying to try to show you that I'm working, baby I'm trying to reach the stars, the stars, oh my God And I've been telling you for years that I'm a hustler, baby Trading in those bars for these bars, oh Lord uh. All 100, so I ain't taking no shorts, cutty All night long, all nights, bro, suck on me I ain't drop a single yet, but while I'm counting money She stay horny to keep my fingers wet Life is working out and I ain't do a single set I should have stayed in the lab, but I was slinging pep From the rosters, on the rise up But I'm a nice guy, but inside me's a mind